The Arkansas offensive line last year was the problem from which many other problems unfolded. You know, Richard, sacks are an imperfect stat for line evaluation, but fair to say that if you give up 47 of them, that's bad. When your head coach is an offensive line coach by trade, yeah, yeah I, I would I yeah. would put that in the bad category. Uh, Arkansas had a really, really bad line, and then they had one of their starters, one of their more solid offensive linemen, transfer to the Florida Gators. One guy left football, sort of a passion passion for the game deficit, left the sport, just full respect, and two guys turned pro. One was a UDFA, one was a sixth-round pick. Richard, as you mentioned, Sam Pittman, offensive line coach, he majors in this. I think it's kind of insulting for him to have an offensive line that bad. Arkansas hangs on to Sam Pittman, but he slash they fired Danny Nose as the offensive coordinator. The offensive line coach from last year goes out to join Jeff Levy at Mississippi State, and they bring in this guy from Baylor, Eric Mateos, to coach their offensive line. Uh, what do we say about portaling an offensive line? It's pretty hard. difficult. Pretty difficult. Don't. Don't. Uh, Arkansas, with one of the most hot seated coaches in the country, is portaling an offensive line. The new center is going to be a Tennessee transfer. Addison Nichols, the new right guard or tackle, not entirely sure where he's going to play, is going to be one Keyshawn Blackstock from Michigan State. And the new left tackle, and this is my guy that you should watch, is Fernando Carmona, an all Mountain West honorable mention from San Jose State, who will be responsible for Taylor Green's blind side. Taylor Green from Boise is now the quarterback for Arkansas. Alex, it sounds like his people cross the Alps too. On <laughs> I, I was just relaying hey. an experience that I had, hey. Stephen. I, hey. I, I, I can't speak to it. Uh, although it is funny that a couple of years ago, I want to say that Fernando Velasco, the former NFL lineman, was like on Arkansas staff, and now they have another Fernando offensive lineman. I mean, what are the chances? Hey. There just aren't that many. Hey. Uh, there's been a lot of pub this year, this offseason, about Sam Pittman bringing in Bobby Petrino, about uh, how many weeks it's going to take I would, before Arkansas boosters can... I would switch the I would switch the verb tense on that. Uh, sure, but sure, sure. <laughs> sure. I think there's reasonable questions being asked about how long it's going to take before boosters at Arkansas successfully throw Sam Pittman out of a window and replace him with Bobby Petrino. But I think the real Arkansas story to me this year and what will decide whether Sam Pittman has much of a chance of sticking around for a while is can you fix the offensive line and can you do it by portaling and can you do it by specifically portaling an all Mountain West honorable mention left tackle from San Jose State who has obviously never played at a level like the SEC before. He looks like a good player, like you know all of the stats and graders like him what you can find of him if you go back and look for his video. Yeah, he looks like a really good player. Excited for him to have the chance in Fayetteville. Uh, he better be a really good player because is there any, I mean, can you think of anything more like, oh, this is a difficult situation right now than Bobby Petrino is now my offensive coordinator in 2024 and we're portaling at least three offensive line starters, including a left tackle from San Jose State? And my season win total is, I believe, four and a half. It's a precarious situation. Uh, if you want to watch for the keys of will there be an SEC West head coach opening at Arkansas this year, watch the offensive line. No SEC watch West the left anymore. Tackle. SEC West doesn't exist. Right. Doesn't it which still, is, wait, which is another it still part like of, technically exist? This is another still, one of Arkansas's like, problems. The uh, SEC yes. West doesn't exist anymore. I knew that it, okay, I knew it didn't define the championship, but I thought they might have not officially done away with it until they went to the nine game schedule. Anyway. No, uh, they're doing the r- weird no? pseudo okay, rota- pseudo rotation, we'll call it. Yeah, we're, Washington, we're not allowed. It's to, not like it's my job. We're not allowed to call it pots. Sorry. Uh, I guess technically not. Yeah. So Arkansas, uh, watching your offensive line situation, specifically your left tackle from San Jose State, really closely. Uh, if the offensive line is terrible again with your offensive lineman head coach, Sam Pittman, it's, it, I can't imagine it working out well. So a lot is on the shoulders of this young man, Fernando Carmona from San Jose State, who's going to play left tackle for Arkansas. Watching closely.